Good evening. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Sewing a Bourbon. I'm Glenn. This is Charlie. Charlie, why don't you tell them what's on the bar tonight? Another Old Forester 117 series. Another this time, one. Scotch cask finished. Mm, can't wait. Okay, so we have another Old Forester 117 series. This is the Scotch Cask Finish released in, and this is batch one. This is the first release of this. It was released in December of 2023. And I just traded for this one. That's us. So into bourbon, finger Wheeling on the pulse. Dealing, baby. That's right, it's almost March of 2024, but you know what, we're on the Scotch, scotch Finish. Right. We're on the Scotch Finish. We, we we do whatever we can. To when we can. hitting content, right? That's right. So, All right. what's so, the deal with this? Another in line of the 117 series. We've talked about it so much, but just give you a quick rundown. The 117 series is a limited expression lineup that debuted in the spring of 2021. There's usually three releases every year. And it's Old Forester's chance to just kind of do some things that's out of... A little out of character for them and sometimes experimental yeah, sometimes exploratory sometimes special specials yeah. regular standard old forester mash bill 72 18 10 no age statement yeah. released in 2023 this is a 93 proof 59.99 is a retail okay. at the distillery in, in kentucky mini bottle 375 milliliter as is yes. all 117 so let's talk about the idea behind this one. Okay. This is to celebrate, supposedly, George Garvin Brown's proud Scottish heritage and his Gaelic roots. So what they've done is taken some Speyside sourced sherry and wine maturation and finishing casks. Say that five times fast. Yes, and, and age this whiskey in those. So I have a question. Okay. I'm a little bit confused. So it's scotch cask finished, but this says sherry and wine maturation cask. So That's great. my question is, yes, are these casks that were meant to age scotch in, but, but haven't been used to age scotch yet? It's a great question. This is, this is, this, boy. That's a great question. Or have they been used to age scotch in and then... Okay, so a couple of things. If it is... That's a great question because this verbiage is not very clear. No. However, it does say Speyside sourced. So one would assume that if they went to the Speyside region of Scotland and they got sherry barrels... Not an area known for its sherry wine that they were already used for scotch storage. Not necessarily, because in some of my research and in, in, in reading on this, it says that these were barrels that were aged in the Speyside region. That doesn't mean they had scotch in them. I, I think by definition it says scotch cask. It would have had to have scotch in it. I don't know. Because scotch... That's my question. So, scotch does not have a scotch barrel. Right. That's one of the things about scotch and even Irish whiskey is there is not a scotch barrel. They put it in all sorts of things. They age it in typically ex-bourbon barrels. A lot of times it's Caribbean rum barrels, sherry barrels, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, I think we'll know when we know it. Let's let's out. let's do that. But th that is definitely Will we know? because it is definitely interesting. Does the scotch nose come from the barrel that it was aged in, or does I it? I mean, if it had I, scotch in it. Well, right. That's what I'm saying. Uh, it may have some of the characteristics of scotch because it was aged in a barrel that scotch would normally be aged in, right? No, doesn't necessarily a mean a sherry barrel does not. So when you drink sherry, you're not like, oh, this has scotch character because someday it would have scotch in it. Correct. Never mind. Let's just get to those. <laughs> this is my favorite episode ever. <laughs> All right, let's look at some color. That's Beautiful dark, dark color. Yeah. Um, interesting that it is that 
man, that's, that's a really nice, like kind of a brown. Mm -hmm. No reddish hue though, like you no. would get from a sherry it's cask or a brown. wine. Yeah. So it almost like it's a really old sherry cask that had a bunch of really old scotch in it. So it puts and an it, awesome. And it sticks to the glass it, and it does not run down. At it all. puts an awesome. Like you want to talk about some legs, 93 yeah. proof. I wonder if they, can you all see that? Like that's, like that's got some, you can't really see, but trust us. It's got some, it? yes, we can know. It smells like scotch. It does smell like scotch. <clears throat> really nice, like malty, earthy grain forward. A little blast of ethanol for 93 proof. There's some proof. ethanol there, but there's some, there's a, uh, mm. I, 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 I can, Pick up on the wine. I, I do. I was going to say, I get that little wine funkiness, mm -hmm. that kind of dried grape. Really nice nose. It smells like it's going to be dry. It does smell like it's going to be dry and malty. But in terms of noses, man, that that's really nice. You're dry and malty. That wouldn't even be funny, but cheers. Scotch finished. Man, that's really interesting. It really is. Hmm. So, you know, sometimes when you you take a sip and it kind of it starts off in the middle of your tongue, then it kind of moves to the side and just develops, yeah. and all the other. This one just kind of felt like it just sat right in the middle of the tongue, and you're waiting, waiting, waiting for those other characteristics to develop. And it never really did. Yeah, it, it is. Um, I'm having a hard time kind of putting my finger on how to describe this. Really light mouthfeel. Almost like a, like, a, not a watery, but it's like almost cold. Like a refreshing, effervescent mouthfeel. Really light. It's got a little bit of spice to it, but not a lot. And then it's just malty and dry <laughs> like you're, it is you're malty and, and dry yeah but it's funny because you've almost lost all of the old forester character in mm -hmm. it so i'm wondering if this wasn't in a barrel for a long time because it's a really good i mean if you blinded somebody with in a scotch blind and threw this in there I'd really be interested to see kind of how that would hold up. Really interesting pour. I, I want to use this in a blind. <clears throat> I don't know what to think about this. I don't I, either. <laughs> I, 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 I'm I having a hard time with it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's interesting. It dries up pretty quickly. There's not much of a finish. A little bit of chocolate. I'm almost getting like a raspberry or like a, a, yeah, like a raspberry or blackberry. So like a fruit, but not a super sweet fruit. I, I will tell you what I think of this one. And, and without giving a bunch of tasting notes, because there really isn't a ton of tasting notes to it. At least not for these two idiots. At least not for these two idiots. This is either something that I, re and this is kind of where I'm bouncing back and forth. Either I don't like this, or it may be the best finished bourbon I've ever had. <laughs> I, I'm not exaggerating. Like, I don't know like, go that like, far. I, I'm, but I'm not kidding. Like, I love Old Forester. I really do. And this has a really, a real complexity to it. Do you know what this, and I'm not saying that this tastes like this other bottle but what it reminds me of is the bardstown bourbon company um founders kbs stout finished mm -hmm. it had that really like malty yeah flavor to it yep and that kind of reminds me of this now i feel like that one had way more flavor yeah um, I, way more complexity than this one does but and totally different, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> totally different. This is, a, this is an interesting one. I feel like this is polarizing. 
you're either going to, this is either going to be in your wheelhouse and you're going to be mm -hmm. like, I must have that bottle. I'm going to buy, I'm going to find extras. It has a lot of really good character to it in terms of like, if you like, if you're a Scotch guy or a, an Irish whiskey guy, this is going to be in your wheelhouse. The one thing with the, that I'm getting a ton of on this is just good old fashioned oak character yeah. finish. But there's also that kind of dry red wine. There is definitely that. Kind of finish as well. They both work pretty well, but it, it is a somewhat intense finish and it just kind of sits and lingers. You don't get a bunch up front. There's no mid palate really to it. There's just some kind of little splashes of flavor that you really don't even know if you're experiencing. And then you're just like, boom, oak. And I think this was in a barrel for a long time. See, I think it's interesting that you mentioned Irish whiskey because I feel like this has more of an Irish whiskey characteristic to it than a scotch. And I'm not, I, I don't drink a lot of scotch, but, but I don't get the floral notes that you usually get from a scotch. Yeah, I, polarizing. It's a polarizing yeah, it's one. It's perplexing. It's it perplexing. is perplexing. I don't know that I've ever quite had anything that tastes like this. I I I told you I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between I really want to drink more, but I but I don't know if I want to drink more because I like it or because I'm trying to figure it out. Write it. Five point seven five. I don't know. Five point seven five. Okay, that's a little low. For all the glowing, it's either the worst or the best I've ever had. Okay, let's do this. No, let's no, give no, it no. a that's, ten no, and a one, and rating. we'll average them. It's a five point whatever. <laughs> like I, I'm very I'm confused. Give it a six point five, just because I think that's these. This is one of those bottles that if you have a friend over. You're going to be like, dude, you got to try this. You have like, to try Let this. me know what you think of this. Yep. And don't tell them what it is. Yep. And so, I, and we talk about this all the time. We love interesting bottles, right? It is that. That's it is very bottle. interesting. And it's really cool. One of the things we love about Old Forester, and we have a lot of Old Forester episodes up, is Old Forester is so fun because it's all the same. It's the same mash bill. They're in the same barrels. And the only difference is proof and age so you can really have some fun with those even comparing the, the barrel. yeah the the hundred proof to you know the whiskey row series etc cetera, etc cetera. this is a really cool one i i'm which is so while you were talking <laughs> and you were talking about old forester my first thought was this tastes nothing, nothing. like most old foresters like it has doesn't have any yeah. of those characteristics and i think and i as said you that. continue to talk I started getting a little bit of a cherry, like a, a cherry, not just like the skin of a cherry it's taste, which is, I always get a cherry note from Old Foresters and I'm like, well, maybe it doesn't completely stray from Old Foresters The worst thing, profile. And, and we talked about this a lot and you just mentioned it, when you're a limited release bourbon and this is 60 bucks for a half bottle, the worst thing that you can be is boring. That's not boring. not boring. This is intriguing and interesting and challenging, and it may not be your cup of tea, but it is an interesting bottle. It's a fun one to have on, on your, your bar. It may take you two years to drink through a little 375, but it's a fun one to play with. So happy we did it. It was a good one. As am I. You know what we should do? We should tell the people what to do. We should do that. Tell well, them what we, to do. Well, we'd love to. Well, I don't want to tell you what to do. No, Gosh, I feel you. like we're always giving them orders, aren't we? But we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe here on the YouTube channel. Click the little bell so whenever we upload a video, you'll get a notification. Or else. And check us out on our uh, socials. Tell them. So into Bourbon at Instagram and Whiskey Realtor on TikTok. And what we'd also really... Now, I am going to... We're going to tell them what to do here. Better, better do it. You need to keep your wallets loose. And your bung holes tight. Good night, everybody. Peace out. Old Forester. Got to thumb it. Got to find the perforation. Do I look like Macaulay Culkin or the Screamer? You look like Macaulay Culkin now. <laughs>
Oh, oh. Trying to get me drunk. If you get drunk Just because my wife's out of town, I mean, you can get me drunk and take advantage of me. That's exactly what that means. Oh, fun of me. Smell my fingers. All right, here we go. Three, two, five, seven. <coughs> Well, the good news is like that was trying to sounds start like a, a diesel motor truck. Trying to start maybe a tractor. All right. Hype, hype. I'm a hype man. Speyside, Sore hey, Sherry, and hey, Wine. Huh? Okay. Ow. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> 